I'm Matthew McMillan. I'm in the linguistics track for translation. Being a, an elementary school teacher for the last nine years, I was away from academics, as in the adult scope of academics. I really hadn't checked out the school at all, so I didn't know what was coming, and my grammar professor helped focus why I'm here and what I'm doing. Our program is very hands-on. Here, you learn linguistics by doing linguistics. We're giving the students tools, not just to be able to learn another language, but to understand how it works, and to be able to answer questions like why. Why do they do it this way and not that way? So right from the beginning, from the sounds that the language makes and how the sounds change, that's your phonology, and then how the grammar of the language works. And then when you get into discourse analysis, how do they put a story together, or how do they run an argument? How do they try to persuade somebody about something? Each language has their own way of doing that. What I've really enjoyed uh, after the kind of nuts and bolts classes um, is SLACA, a second language and culture acquisition, and field methods. SLACA was really amazing for me. One, in that I'm just intrigued by languages in general, but two, because our interest area was Russia and one of the languages offered was Russian. Um, and then I was pleasantly surprised to find that it carries on to field methods. And the Field Methods class starts as the foundational class for the graduate degree in Applied Linguistics. There seems to be a lot of steps taken towards making sure that as a student you're a peer in training, uh, like a, a cohort within the classes. I've become real close with my Field Methods partner. It's less the things that I learn structurally, it's more like the conversations that happen around campus and you know, just the anecdotes, the huge wealth of experience of everybody on, the, on this campus. And it's not just the professors, the custodians have, <laughs> have done work all around the world and you can't talk to somebody that doesn't have something that you can learn about. Several people in the faculty have completed translation projects. The majority have PhDs minimum 15 years of overseas experience. Some of them are international consultants. So not only people who know how to teach, but people who've got their hands dirty out on the field and know how to actually work in languages that hadn't been previously described until they got involved in doing it themselves. For myself, my husband and I spent 30 years in the Philippines working with a minority language group. My dissertation was on the grammar of that people group, so I think that the staff and faculty here, they bring a lot to the table that perhaps other schools wouldn't have as much of. Matthew is one of the many students that I've had who are eager to learn, full of questions. It takes a lot of time. He's got a family. I know that it cuts into his personal life to have to do all the things that I tell him to do, but um, yeah, that's just part of the work. There's also understanding of the rest of your life that's happening. So there's a lot of small things like the access to uh, medical, access to dental, you know, if you need somebody to talk to, the, the counselors, um, access to free bread <laughs> at the dining hall, and yeah, it's just a lot more accommodating than I was used to. One of the things that I was hoping for for our children was a lot of friends to play with. And so when we moved over across the street, there was a family of five children, two houses away, family of four children, one on the way, uh, three houses away. And it was, it was great because you know, it was within walking distance. So coming in, knowing like a, a hundredth of what all this is gonna entail for me and my family, it was pretty daunting. But after these last couple of classes, the school has helped me understand that the task in front of me is obtainable. I have more that I can rely on than just me. I'm part of a team. And also, there's this purpose behind what I'm doing. And so that's why we chose to come here. <laughs>